Introduction to networking. Phase one, IP addressing. Complete this table. Phoenix place it here. Phoenix Chicago here. Bangor here. Connection between routers and ISP, finally IPv6. Okay, and Phoenix, Phoenix summary, this is the base network address. And this is the subnet mask using the CIDR notation. Cause needed 416 and available addresses 512. But really, with for prefix 23, the available IP addresses are. 510 okay should be 510 and these are the subnets I start with the highest number of hosts 150 and for this and for this You can use a subnet mask of 24 that supports 254 hosts. Okay. 256 minus 2, 254. Okay. First host sixty eight dot ten ten sixty eight dot one. Last host ten ten sixty eight dot two fifty four. Subnet mask very good. Twenty four. The broadcast one next to the last host two fifty five. Okay, uh, the next highest number of hosts is 75. Use subnet mask 25 that supports 126, that is 128, minus 2 is 126 available IP address. Okay, the network will be this. Uh, 69 0 the subnet mass for 25 is 128 okay the first 69 that uh, one the last for 126 host is 69 that 126 Okay, so the broadcast 137. Very good. Finally, uh, finally, uh, 25 hosts required. So you can use the mask of 27. That supports uh, 3D host available IP addresses. And the subnet is the next subnet. 69.128 so the first IP is 129 the last 
is uh, 69 dot um, 128 plus uh, 30 69 uh, 158 the broadcast 69 uh, 159 so net mask is 27 that is uh, 224 okay on Chicago This is the base the base network address. Two subnets start with the highest number of calls 50, uh, 64 available IP address uh, should be 62 for the uh, subnet mask of 26, and it's just this in decimal 192, and. The network address is the base MAC address. The first is 7.1 and the last is 62. 7.62. So the broadcast is 63. The next address is 64. 10 host required. 28 will permit. Uh, 14 hosts, so the first will be 70.65, the last will be 64 plus 14, that 78. So the broadcast is 79. And the subnet mask in decimal for 28 is 240. Okay, Bangor base MAC address start with the highest number of hosts to 75. Available 510. Okay, 510. And 23 to permit this number of available hosts network address so the first is 64.1 and the last 65.254 so the broadcast is 65.255 and 23 in decimal is 254.0 the next is 100. You, you can use 126 that is permitted by the subnet mask of 25. So the next, ne the next network is the next to the broadcast of the previous network. So the next to 65.255 is 66. Uh, 66 that's zero. 10, 10, 66, that's zero. So the first one is 66, that one. And the last one is zero plus 26, 126. So it's 66, that 126. And the broadcast is 66, that 127. The next to 127 is 128, the network address for the next subnet. We'll use the net mass of 27 that will permit 30 hosts. 32 minus 2. Okay, because 25 hosts are required. The first is 65 but 129. The last is 128 plus 30. 66 dot 158 broadcast 159 and 27 in decimal is 
224. Okay, this is already configured. And finally, the IPv6 addresses. This is the prefix 48, lag number 2, uses the subnet number 2, first IP, 64 prefix, lag number 8, I assume will use subnet 10, that is uh, the subnet 8. The first IP prefix 64. Okay, my table is completed. Obviously, if you cannot do this, you can practice VLSM and subnetting. Okay. Go ahead. LAN and WAN cabling using a straight through or crossover cables and the light proper lines as guides. Connect the proper Ethernet cable type between the devices and the indicated ports. Be careful. Okay, uh, first of all, the straight through 15 to PC seven to PC and so on. Treat the hub like a switch, okay? Okay, uh, treat the PC like a router. Okay, so connect cross over here. Treat the hub like a switch. And straight through here. Okay, treat the PC like a router.
host configuration, configure all workstation, IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS server, the server on the DNS server on the internet. The default gateway should be the first usable address in the subnet. Okay, and uh, use this table, the completed table. Phoenix Lang One. Static. Phoenix Lang One. Okay, on Phoenix Lang One, on Phoenix Lang One subnet, the first IP is 129, 69, 129. And the DNS server should be this 140.198.8.14. Okay, and choose any IP address in this range from 150 to 158. Okay, 129 will be used by the default gateway. Okay, I will use 10, 10, uh, 69 dot uh, one the eight. So net mass two twenty four. The full gateway, the first sixty nine dot. 129. Um, DNS will be configured later for fast configuration. Phoenix 2, Phoenix Land 2, use this range. Okay, uh, 68.10. Subnet so mask 24. Shirts IP 68.1. DNS later. Phoenix Land 3. Use this. 69.1. Tank to net mass one twenty eight. The full gateway first IP sixty nine that one. Another PC on Phoenix Land three, the next um, sixty nine that eleven. 128 subnet mask first IP 69.1 DNS later. Okay. Okay, uh, Chicago Lang One. This server this subnet Chicago Lang One. The server should be configured with 70.66 Okay, it will be cisco.com And the subnet mask is 28 to 40 The default gateway, the first IP 70.65 
Tiana's server later. Chicago Land 2 Use the subnet seven t dot ten one ninety two first IP one seventy dot one Bangor Lang one use the subnet The tank 128 first IP 66 dot that one Bangor land two use this sixty four dot tank two fifty four zero Sixty four that one okay. The printer you can see here is already configured with the IP address ten ten sixty six one thirty five. Also configured with the gateway and DNS server. Okay, no problem with this. Okay, configure, configure this IPv6 network later. Okay. Now configure the DNS. Router configuration. The RIP routing protocol has already been configured in the routers. No configuration is needed on the hubs, MSN, or Internet Cloud. The following items need to configure it on each router. Host name according the diagram. Host name space banner display banner message of the day case okay, sensitive restricted access. Okay, case sensitive, use the same characters. Encrypt all passwords. Server password, service password encryption. Block logins for Okay, login block for 1.5 minutes is 90 seconds, two fails in one minute. Okay, uh, login block for 90 seconds, attempts. Two attempts within one minute and sixty seconds. Okay, enter. 
minimum password length five characters security passwords minimum length five characters enable secret class enable secret class okay sensitive On each router, in use, description, IP address, and subnet mask, first IP, no shutdown to enable the interface. Okay, I will configure this later, but configure this in all routers, like console and BTY 024. Line console 0. Password Cisco login. Password Cisco login. Login synchronous, no connection timeout. Login synchronous, no exit timeout. The same configuration for line BTY to 0 to 4. Line BTY, line BTY 0 to 4. Password Cisco, login, login synchronous, now exit timeout. Okay. So configure all this on all these commands on all the routers. Okay, first of all, Phoenix. Enter, enable, configure terminal. Paste. Okay, and set the hostname according the diagram. The diagram, Phoenix. Uppercase. Okay. Bangor. Enter enable configure terminal paste. Bangor Chicago Enter Enable Configure Terminal Paste And this IPv6 router Enter Enable Configure Terminal Paste IPv6 IP-V6 Uppercase IP-V6 Okay, for routers. Okay, on each router interface that is in use, a description of what the interface is connected to, the IP address and subnet mask, the first IP, and now shut down. Start with Phoenix and use the table. Okay, interface, Ethernet, zero one zero.
third IP for Phoenix Lang One. Okay. So we're not mass two twenty four. Not shut down. In that description. Phoenix Langua Ethernet 0 to 0 Phoenix Lang 2 for type B 60A1 Subnet mask 24 0 Not shut down Okay, the description Phoenix LAN 2 Ethernet 030 IP address first IP 69.1 Subnet mask 128 No shutdown Description Phoenix LAN 3 Fast Ethernet 01 Okay, look at this Chicago Phoenix Bangor connections This is the subnet Okay, for this subnet The first IP is 771.1 and the last host is 71.6 Okay, choose one IP address in the range I will use the first IP address 71.1 Submit mask 248 Shut down and the description is connected to the core switch. Okay, ready. Configure Chicago. Ethernet 010 IP address Chicago Lang 1 Okay, use this subnet Subnet mask 240 Not shut down The description Chicago Lang 1 Ethernet 0 to 0 IP address IP address 7.1 uh, 70.1 subnet mask 182 ok this subnet now shut down description Chicago Land 2 configure fast Ethernet 00, 00 connected to core switch IP address the second available in that subnet 71.2248 not shut down 
description core switch Bangor Ethernet 010 IP address Bangor LAN 1 This is happening Ethernet zero to zero. This subnet sixty four dot one subnet mask two fifty four dot zero. I'm going to shut down description LAN 2 Ethernet 030 Field IP use the subnet two fifty five dot two twenty four. No shutdown. Description LAN 3. Fast Ethernet 00. Connected to core switch. Use the next IP 71.3. To 48 subnet mask. Let's shut down description call switch okay the three routers configured configure this IPv6 router later The Chicago router also needs to be configured to use SSH for the BTY lines. Okay, go to Chicago. Exit. Configure a user name. Okay. Uh, this user name. Guest password let me in. Username okay, sensitive guest password. Let me in and okay, case sensitive. IP domain name. Okay, the domain name can be cisco.com. Okay. IP the main name cisco.com case sensitive would be and crypto key crypto key generate RSA case crypto the modulus uh, 1024 IP SSH version 2 IP SSH version 2 configure a login logon on BTY 024 transport input SSH 
no password Cisco to remove the password. MBTY 0 to 4, login local, transport input SSH, no password Cisco. Switch configuration. A console cable must be used from Bangor LAN 1 PC to switch V1 to configure it. Okay, uh, console cable RS232 to console. Okay, there is the Console cable, mm, go to the PC terminal. Okay, okay, the following items need to be configured on each switch. The host name, okay, this command, banner, okay, this. Encrypt all passwords, okay, already. Enable secret password class. This, okay, these two uh, block key, login block and security password will not be configured. Okay, enable secret password, okay. This, Okay, so login block and so remove login block and security password. Interface VLAN 1. Okay, I will configure this later. Uh, IP default gateway. I will configure this later, but this configuration line console BTY line 0 to 15. Password Cisco login login synchronous no exit timeout. Line console zero password Cisco login login synchronous no exit timeout. BTY 0 to 15. Okay, change this to 0 to 15. And same configuration as the console. Okay, same configuration as the console. And configure all this and the switches. Okay. Enable configure terminal paste switch B1 K sensitive switch B1 interface VLAN 1 interface VLAN 1 Okay, VLAN 1 on all the switches. Okay, but this is an example, use the proper IP address. Okay, IP address. Okay, the switch, the switch is placed on Bangor LAN 1. Bangor LAN 1. Okay, I will use the second IP. Sixty-six dot two one twenty-eight. Description as management interface. Shutdown. Exit. Configure the default gateway. The first IP. Sixty-six. 
66.1. And ready. Okay, configure switch B2. Enable configure terminal. These commands for basic configuration. Okay, switch B2. Interface VLAN 1. Okay. Bangor LAN 2. Okay, use this. The second will be 64.2. To 54.0. Description. Management interface, no shutdown, exit IP, default gateway. The first IP is 64.1. Console cable. Phoenix LAN 1, switch P1 
Okay, the default gateway for core switch can be only any of these three routers. Okay, I will configure this later if it's necessary. Okay. Okay, but don't forget the zero zero on Bangor that will connect to internet. Okay, configure this on Bangor exit interface here zero 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 IP address on this subnet to now one sixty five two hundred one sixty uh, one seventy in this case. Okay, in this subnet. The first IP is ISP, the Bangor on serial 000, 000 170. Use this subnet mask 252. Description connected to Internet, not shut down. Okay. Test. Confirm all workstation ping each other. The full gateways, each switch, um, website cisco.com and msn.com. Okay, for example, Phoenix Lang One. Pink uh, Cisco.com. May take a while the first time. Okay, success, repeat, ping msm.com, okay, msn is placed on the internet, okay, success, okay, phase 7, IPv6, the IPv6, the basic IPv6 router should be have been configured according to the instructions above. Okay, the basic settings, okay, previously configured on the router. Okay, these basic settings. Also enable IPv6 unicast routing. IPv6 unicast routing. On each interface, IPv6 address from the global prefix subnet and host IP, the first IP. 64 prefix length, link locker address is number one. Okay, use the table. Gigabit zero zero interface gigabit zero zero. Zero zero is in subnet number two and should be the first IP. Okay. Subnet number two. And the first IP. IPv6 address. Subnet number two, use the first IP prefix length 64. 
link lock all shirts IP okay and configure this FEAD shirts shirts IP IPv6 address shirts link local Uh, description subnet to no shutdown now gigabit 01 on subnet a 01 address in subnet a first ip use the same link local address description a no shutdown okay remember the table lang a subnet a first ip 64 prefix ipv6 workstation IPv6 address created from the global prefix subnet and indicated host IP 64 prefix length Okay This PC on subnet 2 desktop Use the static This is subnet number 2 And the IP will be number 2 64 prefix allow the workstation to create its own link local address the gateway ipv6 default gateway that points to the router port ipv6 address okay the gateway is uh, to the first IP and the DNS server I will configure it later. Okay, close this, open again, and the link local will be created automatically. PC on subnet A, subnet A, second IP, prefix 64. IP address of the file gateway is the A1. Close, open again, link local created, and the IPv6 DNS. Okay, DNS is not required for IPv6. DNS not required for IPv6. And don't forget on core switch that. Configure the default gateway exit IP default gateway. Choose any of these routers. I will choose this that is the third IP. The first is Phoenix, the second is Chicago, and the third is Bangor. So in this subnet, I would use the third 1010713248. Okay, uh, okay, now you do not use subnet mask. Okay. Okay, 100%. Thank you very much.